It takes an officer involved shooting in Green Bay, the latest example of a trend of domestic violence turned deadly. Officer shot and killed a man who violated a restraining order when he showed up at his estranged wife's apartment with a gun yesterday. Domestic violence advocates say it is reason for alarm. NBC 26's Brian Miller is live in the newsroom with more. Stacey, currently in Wisconsin, if someone violates an order of protection, they could face a year in jail or a $1,000 fine. And while that injunction may keep some safe, advocates say tougher penalties would help increase protection. When Green Bay police shot and killed an armed man who was allegedly stalking his estranged wife, legal advocate Wendy Gale of Harbor House, a domestic abuse shelter, took notice. There's a lot of red flags there. It is the most dangerous time when someone is leaving or after they've just left. It's when perpetrators feel most desperate. Gale says a restraining order can only go so far. Because there are plenty of individuals that will not respect that court order. They see it as a piece of paper. Obviously it's a piece of paper. An injunction is just that. The Outagamie County Sheriff's Department works with several agencies to investigate and arrest those who violate the orders. We try to work closely with Harbor House and with the District Attorney's Office and, and also go through safety planning to hopefully prevent further violence. According to data from End Domestic Abuse Wisconsin, 89 people died in two years from domestic violence related murders and suicides. Last year in Wisconsin, 52 people died, an increase from 2011 when 37 died. This year's numbers are not yet available. It is very concerning. I think for all of us, we should be extremely concerned about the rate of domestic violence and the lethality um, factors that are going along with it. Now, when a restraining order is filed, the alleged perpetrator is required to turn his or her guns over to police, but advocates and law enforcement say it's hard for police to enforce that requirement. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Brian Miller, NBC 26.